We are in the Go Office 2013 textbook, and this is the second video in the second chapter of PowerPoint on Project 2A. We're on page 785. Activity 2.11 is inserting a text box. Let's go to slide 3 here and click Insert and go to the text group over here and choose text box. And the text box is exactly what it sounds like. It's a box that holds text that you can move around. And uh, it says move it to several spots on the slide. And I'm not getting uh, the ruler guides to display here. Um, position the pointer so that the ruler guides are positioned on the left half of Oh, he's talking about the lines on, on the rulers here, so they are displaying. Um, on the left half of the horizontal ruler at four and a half, and the lower half at two. So left half at four and a half, which would be right here, and the lower half at two. So that's pretty close. And click once, and that'll give us a real skinny box, and uh, we can type. There's a flashing I beam in there, and we can type in, in that. So let's type if safety. Okay, we have to make this quite a bit wider. Apparently, it's not going to widen itself. Um, so I'll click in here. Uh, if safety is, is questionable. And it says, as you type, the width of the text box expands to accommodate the text. Uh, mine did not. If yours does not, then you'll have to widen it yourself. And I'm going to shrink this down now so it's similar to what's in the book. So there it is. It's just big enough to accommodate the text. Um, so let's go to... Um, Page 786, number 5, select the text that you typed. An easy way is, again, to click on the border here and get the solid line. And we want to change the font size from 18 to 24. And uh, no, I didn't make the box bigger, so I have to make the box bigger so it all appears on one line, like it does on the bottom of page 786. Okay, now we're in activity 2.12, inserting and sizing a shape. With slide 3 displayed, which is where we are already, Click the Insert tab up here, and in the Illustrations group right here, uh, click Shapes. And the shape that we want is a block arrow, so we want one of these. And we want the first one, which is an arrow pointing to the right, and we want to move that um, onto the slide, and we'll get a crosshair, and uh, move it to the ruler guides approximately zero horizontally and the lower half at two. So zero horizontally and the lower half at two, which is approximately right there. And if we click, that'll give us an arrow. And we want to change the size of that. We want the height to be 0.5, and we want the width to be 2. So right now, the height is just a little more than that, and the width is only 1. So let's make that 2. You can bounce on the arrow or just type a 2 on top of the number that's there. And um, now we're going to put in an octagon. So let's go back to Insert, and let's go to Shapes. And... Um, Octagon is eight sides, and in the first row, the second to last shape. Okay, there we go. Number eight is inside it to tell us it's an octagon. And we want to go about three and a half and one. So three and a half is about right there. And go down here to one. So I got over too far to the left. So about right there. And click. And we'll get an octagon. And we want that to be um, two by two. And so if we go up here and make this a two, um, for some reason it does not change both of them. Think on a shape like that, maybe it would. 
Um, and now it should look pretty much like the bottom of page 787. And it says to save our presentation. So let's save it. And let's go to page 788, adding text to shapes. Let's go to slide three. We're already there. Click the octagon and type the word stop. And in caps, I guess, STOP, and it's centered inside the octagon. And um, it says on the mini toolbar, change the font size to 32. My mini toolbar is not there, so I'm just going to click on the border here and go to home and set my font size equal to 32, and that should accomplish the same thing. Click in a blank area of the slide, cancel selection, and it should look like the picture on page 788. Okay, now we're on uh, the bottom of page 788 and applying shape fills and outlines. We want to go to slide number two here. Uh, click anywhere in the paragraph to select the content placeholder. And on the format tab, In the shape styles group, which is all of this stuff here, um, click the shape fill arrow right here. So we get choices for shape fill. And uh, we'll do a live preview here as it moves over everything. And we want the fifth column, the second color, which is a very light blue. And we also want a border, so go to shape outline here. And for a weight, we want three points. Doesn't say anything about the color, so apparently black is the color that they want. And save your presentation. Okay, let's go to activity 2.15 using the eyedropper to change color. Um, let's go to slide number six over here. And select the title text at Sensation Park. So select that and in the font group font color and below the gallery so let's go to the um, home and in the font group click the eyedropper. And the eyedropper is always used in just every, about every application I've ever seen to select a color and um, point to the upper right corner of the Ferris wheel and these pixels are probably not all exactly the same color, but they're pretty similar. So we're going to click on that. And it will apply that color to our text over here. Um, if I had gone here and selected the eyedropper and then clicked on some of the pink stuff here, uh, that's what we've got. And let's undo that. And now we're back to the blue text. Uh, now I'm on page 790. I want to go to uh, slide 5. And I want to select the title. So here's the title of slide five. And on the mini toolbar, um, click the font color button and under recent colors. So let's go to font color and uh, recent colors. I get pink there too. You won't get that unless you follow me doing the pink stuff. Uh, and we want to pick the dark blue color. And it'll change that text to exactly the same color and save your presentation. Now we're in activity 2.16, applying shape styles. Go to slide three and select the arrow shape right here. And on the format tab in the shape styles group, click more. So on the format tab in the shape styles group, here's our more button, this little down arrow with a hash mark above it. And in the last row, click the second style, which is intense effect blue accent one. And that's exactly what it's supposed to be. And it gives us a little gradient and kind of a little 3D effect there. And we're on step number two. Click anywhere in the text uh, if safety is questionable over here. And on the format in the shape styles group, so we want to do shape styles on this one too. And uh, in the last row, we want to do the fifth style, which is intense effect red accent four. And we want the accent, uh, I'm sorry, the octagon, and click on that. And we want the same one that we did a minute ago. So there we go. And save your presentation. And now we're on page 791. Applying shape and picture effects. Go to slide one. You can scroll or hit the home key. And on the format tab in the picture styles group, I select the picture first. 
Uh, and now I'll go to the Format tab for Picture Tools, and in the Picture Styles group, click Picture Effects right here. And this is stuff we've probably done in Word before. And go to Soft Edges, and we want 50 points. Click on that, and that will give us this blurred edge around the outside. Uh, go to slide number two and select the light blue content placeholder and go to the format tab and do a shape effect so the format here and shape effect and we want a bevel and we want the last one in the last row which is art deco and that gives it kind of a 3d effect around the edges too now we're on number five on page 791 display slide five click on five over here and select the picture and go to the format tab under the picture tools and uh, this one um, under picture effects we want to choose glow and we want um, second row first one which is blue eight point glow accent color one and so you kind of a blue glow around the picture and then we're going to save our document and now we're on page 792. Uh, we're going to duplicate some objects here. Uh, we're going to go to slide 6 with the Ferris wheel on it. And we want to click on that picture and uh, hold the control key down and press D one time. So control D and that duplicates the object. And the overlap right now click in the blank area and compare our screen and uh, there you can see um, it's kind of hard to tell from the picture on page 792 but we get the same picture and now let's go to aligning and distributing objects relative to the slide uh, with slide 6 selected place the pointer in the gray area of the slide pane just outside the upper left corner Uh, to display okay there we go drag down and to the right to draw a transparent gray selection rectangle then closes both pictures so there we go now we got both pictures selected and uh, now it should look like page 792 on the bottom and now we want to go to the format tab up here which is still visible and we want to go to the arrange group over here and we want to align these and what I want to do is um, I want to align them on the left side. So now they're both aligned on the left. And um, uh, did I choose align to slide? Uh, I need to choose align to slide. And then align left. I think the same thing will happen here no matter what. Uh, with both pictures still selected on the format tab in the arrange group, click align again and distribute vertically. So they're still selected. I got the handles and align and distribute vertically. And that will spread them out so that uh, they're equally spaced. Now, they're a little too big, so they're going to overlap here. Um, but if they were smaller, uh, they would, you know, one would go to the top, one would go to the bottom. They, they would have an equal amount of space in between them here. Um, now we want to do soft edges on both. They're still both selected, so let's go to our picture effects and go to soft edges. And we want 50 points here, and that ought to put some space in between them. There we go. And save your presentation, and now we're on the bottom of page 793. We're going to align distribute objects relative to each other. Go to slide 3, and I want to... Um, Click the text box, the arrow, and the icon. So you can either click and do like a control click here, or another way is to take the mouse and drag it around all of them. Now, if the handles don't appear on this, it's because I didn't get high enough. You have to include everything that you all of everything when you do this. So you have to make sure you get above and below and on either side of everything you want to select here, and then you'll get the handles. And let's go to our format tab on drawing tool. Let's go to align again and uh, I want to align the selected objects and so they'll be aligned relative to each other rel rather than relative to the slide. On the format tab in the arrange group 
um, click align again and uh, align middle and so they will all be in the middle relative to each other which basically means they're all going to be in the lined up with the middle of the stop sign here and then we want to distribute them horizontally so now there's an equal gap in between here and uh, click any place and we can um, save our, sl our slideshow and now we're in activity 2.21 we're going to group objects and uh, with slide 3 displayed we're still on slide 3 click the text box and hold down shift and click the arrow and the octagon so that all three objects are selected then go to the format tab and in the arrange group uh, click group and it's not letting me do that um, Say, let's try this and control click on this and now we can group them because they're pictures it sounded in the book like what they wanted us to do was oh, I'm sorry they said the text box I was assuming this box up here uh, so I just misunderstood so we want this and then control this and then control this and now we can go to group here and we can group them all together and now they become one big picture and I can select them and move them around uh, any way that I want to and uh, now we're going to align them and align center is left to right middle is top to bottom so we want to align center and now they're aligned in the center of the slide and uh, now it wants us to um, watch the slideshow you can do that on your own you can press F5 or you can go to your view tab and click on um, where is it on the view tab I thought it was on the view tab here no it's on slideshow tab and click on from beginning uh, you can also go down here and click on slideshow and we want to go to the insert tab for the last thing here and go to header and footer and uh, we're going to do notes and handouts and uh, we want the date and the time, uh, we want to update automatically, we want the page number and we want the footer and in the footer we want uh, last name, first name, almost type first name Tom, uh, 2A safety and we want to apply to all and we're not going to do tags so that is the end of project 2A.